So here is question 13, and it looks like there's a, a lot going on here, but really there isn't too, too much. So again, before you start a new question, you should always save it as a new file. So this is now question 13. So question 13, and then now let's edit our variables. So tools, and let's go to equations. And now let's edit what needs to be edited. So this is 30. This is going to be 150. This is supposed to be 15. B divided by 4, C divided by 2. Now we changed all our variables. And again, I just like to double check because you want to make sure that you didn't mistype anything. 37.5, so 150 divided by 4 and then C divided by 2, 15. So that looks all good to me. And we're still using the same material, still in millimeters, grams, seconds, so nothing's changed there. So I think first things first, you should always check to see if there's anything about your original parts that got changed. So it looks like first thing I notice is that these fillets changed. The radius is now five instead of two. So I'm gonna change these fillets here to five millimeters. So five millimeters. So check. That changed. This still has a five inch or five millimeter diameter. It's still offset by two. The distance was still 18, 17 and a half and 45 degrees. And so that looks all the same. Nothing about that got changed. Um, anything with the variable obviously got changed. So this is C10, but now this, uh, this distance is 30, so let's, was that the same as the previous one? Was it 30? Nope, it was four, 40 in the last one, so I should edit my original sketch. Let's control four, and now let's change this 40 to a 30. And control save, so save. And again, and if your part doesn't automatically rebuild, you might need to press this rebuild button. So that's supposed to be 30. Uh, so that looks good there. Um, these are still C. This is still in the center point C divided by 2, C divided by 2, diameter of E. So that all looks good. And now it just looks like all I need to add. Oh, nope, these triangles change. So these triangles are no longer a horizontal distance of 10 but instead of horizontal distance of 12 and a half. So again, front triangle cuts, edit sketch. And then instead of 10 here, I'll just press control one so we can see what I'm changing. Double click here. This is supposed to be 12.5. Save sketch and exit. This is still a 24 inch diameter, so that's still the same. Um, this is still 20, this is still D, and the horizontal distance is A, so that all looks the same. So now, I think I've made all original changes that need to be made. Um, so now I just need to add these cuts. So again, whenever I see something symmetrical, I always think mirror. So again, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm looking at the front view, and I don't see any um part of this inner sketch so when i make this cut i'm i'm not going to make my sketch here because if i went to the front view i would still see some of the inside so here i'm actually going to start my sketch on the front part of this so this way it's flat so sketch and i want to sketch here and so what i want to do is i, I kind of want this to be offset by three millimeters so i just do an offset entities reverse the direction and i want this to be three millimeters uh, inwards and then all I'm going to do is just add a bunch of lines so I'm just going to press L for my keyboard shortcut I need one line that's for the top part and it's, again it's vertical and then I need another line to do the top of the next and this is also vertical and then I need this bottom line so this goes here this goes that way, 
And then I need the top line again. And it doesn't say that this bottom line is three millimeters. So uh, I'm guessing that I'm going to have to use another line to go off from here. I'm, I'm guessing the final distance will not be uh, 14. So now let's specify our distances. So here and here should be 15. Oops, okay, well that made it coincide, so why don't I move this down a little bit. So this is supposed to be 15. And then the distance from those two cuts should be three millimeters. So this is supposed to be three. And then this line from this line should be 15. Then these, this line to the top of this line should be 3, looks like. And the top of this line this line would be 14. So now my sketch is fully defined, right? And I should trim whatever lines I don't need. So like I said, it doesn't mean, just because that distance was 14 didn't mean this bottom line. So I don't need this line, this line here. I don't need the, these connecting lines. I don't need these collecting these connecting lines. Right? And then all I need to add are some fillets. So let's fillet these corners. Uh boom, boom. Well looks like the they have a radius of three millimeters. So they're here and here. Here and here. Here and here. And I'm going to go all the way across. And then I press OK. Now I have a bunch of relations there, but that looks good to me. I guess what I should do is mirror my drawing so say all the cuts are in one sketch this goes horizontal and again solidworks trick if only one construction line is highlighted it automatically assumes that's the line you want to mirror across so there's that and now i can just go to features extruded cut And through all. So that looks like the end of this part. So you go to evaluate, you go to mass properties, and 512.06 would be the final mass. Doesn't look like I'm missing or forgetting to change anything. So I'm going to make a next video for the next question.